Love that view. This video was shot back in February of 2020, about a month before everything locked down out in California and before I stopped traveling. Uh, I just recently edited it up, wanted to publish it out there. It was a great trip. I hope you enjoy the video. Have an awesome day. Hey guys, Scott here. I'm out in Sacramento for two weeks and thought I would take the weekend and do some winter camping. Brought the backpack along. I'm heading south towards Los Angeles I'm going to cut over and catch Highway 1 and go down to Big Sur. I've got a Jeep this week. I'm going to have a little fun, see if I can't get back on some of the Forest Service roads, get into one of the trails that we tried to hike on the last time I was out here. We just ran out of time. The notes on the Forest Service website says you have to have a four-wheel drive. It requires high clearance vehicles just to get back in there. Don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get back into this trailhead. I hope so. Um, we're gonna see. If I can get back there, I'm gonna go hike the Crook uh, Crook Shank Trail, something in the neighborhood of 12 to 14 miles. And I'm gonna get down there after dark. The start of the Forest Service Road to head back up to South Coast Ridge Road. I made it to South Coast Ridge Road. Lion's Den Camp is just up the road here, about three miles, it looks like. You've arrived. All right, guys, made it out here to the trailhead. I'm gonna grab my pack. It's about 10.30 to night. <laughs> yeah, like you couldn't tell. I'm gonna head down the trail, get some sleep, and I'll catch you in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's Saturday morning, and it is a beautiful morning. All right, let me show you what uh, what camp looks like. So I hiked in about half a mile from where I parked the Jeep here to Lion's Den Camp. And this is what the campground looks like. I've got the hammock tied up over here with my UGQ uh, 20 degree underquilt. And inside is my top quilt. They're both 20 degrees. They're in a Moroccan blue with black inside. I've got my uh, 20 foot Dyneema straps with soft shackles. And I'm using a Beckett hitch. I went ahead and just created a bite in the line and used the bite to tie it off so that I didn't have to pull all of this through the loop and I've just got my homemade ridge line here on this cheap hammock Here's the water source. We have to come upstream a little bit. And get some nice clean water here and the trail goes this way
on one of my earlier videos. Uh, I think it was the hike out to Castake Lake. I came upon a plant I hadn't seen before and asked, you know, if anybody knew what it was. And uh, Glitch commented that he thought it was the uh, chaparral yucca, I believe it was. And I think he's spot on. When I went and looked that up, it looked just like what I was seeing. And there's one of them here. Let's see if I can get that. So there's one right here. Easily a 10 foot stalk with the flowers on. Oh wow, that is cool. That is a beautiful view. That is the Pacific Ocean down there. Sky is just clear as can be. There's a trail marker here because the trail splits up to go up to the point up there where you can get another view. And the trail continues this way out towards the ocean. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That just falls away right down there. And my trekking poles are the edge of the, the inside edge of the trail, and there's the outside edge. So that's the trail width. And there's the edge. And it falls off, falls off right there to never, never land. Whew. <laughs> A little loose right there. Wow. Um, Moza Trail has been awesome. Trail is super easy to follow, really, really well defined. I'm catching a lot of shade. Little spats of sun, and I am so happy for the shade because it is just hot today. Just another incredible view. Yeah, that's shadowed just perfectly, isn't it? Anyway, that's the Cruikshank Trail is where I just came from. And I just passed Silver Camp about a mile back. And I spent the night at Lion's Den. And directly behind me, the trail goes to Buckeye Camp, so I just intercepted the Buckeye Trail. The Salmon Creek Trail Station is right down by Highway 1. It was just around the corner from where we had parked to start uh, the Salmon Creek Trail hike that I did a month ago. Uh, man. It's been one heck of a trail. I've gone since that sign about half a mile 
and I've climbed up 1,100 feet, give or take. And it was tough. And I still have about another 800 to 1,000 feet to go before I start descending to the Buckeye Camp. I think I'm reaching the high point. We're pretty darn close to it on the Buckeye Trail. Uh, actually, just a overlook. I still gotta go up there, which that's a little bit. Not too bad. There's the ocean. And the sun is getting low. I'm gonna hike up there, see if I can get a better view. It's 317. Sun's gonna set about 530. And I don't really feel like hiking in the dark tonight. Man, that's just awesome out there, I'm telling you. Sorry. <laughs> Easy to get distracted. Oh, I don't have that in Kansas. That was just so beautiful. Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh, that's awesome. I think I'm just going to backtrack to um, the Crookshank Trail and actually head uh, west just a little bit from that uh, junction of the Crookshank Trail and the Buckeye Trail. There's another camp on the map. I'm going to go check that out, see what that looks like. I might spend the night there, I don't know. Just kind of see how it is for time. I'm just going to relax and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. Oh, man. <laughs> Love that view. I'm going to go ahead and come down this way. Maybe they'll figure me over by Willow Creek where I can get some water and uh, have some dinner. See what we run into over here. Well, found a campsite. Didn't go very far. Maybe five minute walk from the trail intersection. Picnic table. Uh, I've done about seven and a half miles today. It was hard. A good section of it coming downhill was, you know, that was fine. It was nice, easy, slow descent, not a big deal. Pretty good climb back up on the Buckeye Trail and uh, coming down that Buckeye Trail part back to the, the intersection here was really steep. And my IT bands on the side of my knees are just killing me. It was about all I could do to make it this far coming down. I'm just going to set up camp here at Crookshank Camp. I'm at the upper one there on the sign. There's a lower one as well. Uh, there's a couple trees here. They've got a bit of stretch between them, but I've got long hammock straps. So I'm not going to have any trouble setting up. So I'm just going to set up here. There's nobody around. I'm in a low-lying area here in the valley. If tonight's like last night where the fog rolled in off the ocean and started pushing up these valleys, then I'm going to find myself most likely in the fog. I'm not going to go ahead and set up my tarp. It's not going to make any difference with the fog. But I'm hoping I've got a clear spot just over here and I'm just going to see if I can't catch the stars and just enjoy it. Just kind of fall to sleep with the stars and the sky and just beautiful view. It's 630. I got a ways to go before I'm ready to crash. And I am having Mountain House. Uh, I don't know what it's actually called. Ah. Italian style pepper steak with rice and tomatoes. And it's actually pretty good. Probably have dessert here in 
a bit. So we get back. Just enjoy the fire. You guys have a good night, and I will catch you in the morning. Good morning, guys. Sunday morning. It's uh, a little after nine. It's beautiful right now. Sky is clear. Sun shining. Uh, it's chilly where I'm at right now because I'm still in the shade. Ended up going to bed about uh, a little after nine last night. So I got a great night's sleep. Stayed nice and toasty. Super comfortable here in the hammock. And... Uh, it's kind of chilly, so <laughs> really don't want to crawl out, but it's time to get moving. So, all right, packed up, ready to roll. Got about five and a half miles, mostly uphill, to hike my way out of this place up to the South Coast Ridge Road and where I'm parked. That first section climbing up from the uh, intersection back there. Super steep. Uh, just a wall of switchbacks. Oh. That's one way to wake up in the morning. <laughs> Here's another campsite. This is the one I hiked through yesterday that people were at, so I didn't film it. It is Silver Camp. Nice space. It's got a fire ring as well. And a little creek running next to it. I'm going to grab some water while I'm here. Not a whole lot because there's a really nice stream about another half mile up. But I'm just about out and I'm thirsty. So I knew there was water here so I didn't really fill up this morning. Just headed out with uh, three quarters of a liter. As I come into Lion's Den camp again.
That's the entrance to the trail. That's a nice sight. Excellent hike. We'll get some video on the way out here. Show you kind of what the drive in in the dark was like. So you get the full effect. Hang out and enjoy that for just a minute or two. Do me a favor, please don't subscribe. Yeah, that's right. Don't subscribe unless you've watched several of my videos and you know if you like my stuff or not. And then make your own choice. Either way, have an awesome day.